Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. And I want to start this video by saying hi. I am Caitlin. I am 25 years old. I live in Tennessee with my husband and I am a brand new mama. And that has brought its challenges. Having a newborn is hard at times. It's really fun, but it's also hard. Hard in a sense of I would love to make more videos and get them out easier, but it has been a little bit more difficult. Baby needs me, baby needs to eat, baby needs to sleep, and sometimes he needs to sleep on me, and that's okay. So anyways, I'm getting this video in quick while he's taking a nap, so hopefully we can get through this easily. I just wanted to say hi and reintroduce myself because I haven't allowed new people here. So thank you so much for subscribing and being a part of this little family that's growing. It's really exciting to see that happening. I hope that you stick around and enjoy the videos and I'm really glad that you decided to stick around and become friends with me. That's kind of what I hope this channel can be. It's kind of your friend that you can have on in the background. That's what I love with YouTube. I will put it on when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm feeding baby, just kind of as background noise sometimes. Um, you know, a lot of times I watch too, but just in a sense where if you need that background noise or just something fun to watch that it can be both of those things for you. All right, so today I am getting into what I actually used out of my hospital bag and also going into things that I wish I would have taken, things I also regret buying for a postpartum. So let's jump right into it. So let's go with the things that I am glad that I had. One, okay, y'all, I almost didn't take this and then I had three different people text me the day that we were going in to get induced and said, hey, you should probably take your own pillow. Cause I was like, I don't need to take my own pillow. The hospital has pillows. Y'all, the hospital pillows are literally like that thin, okay? They are tiny, they do nothing. So if you need your pillow to sleep well, take your own pillow because that was a lifesaver. I love my pillow and I was already kind of on the fence because I am a big, my own person, my own pillow person. <laughs> and I'm really glad I took my own pillow. So number one thing, take your own pillow. It, you will, you will not regret it. Number two, a robe. I'm so glad I took my robe. It was really nice to have that. It was cozy. Also my sweatshirt too. It gets kind of cold in there. I will say after you have a baby, you will have lots of postpartum sweats and your body will just kind of your hormones are going crazy they're trying to regulate they're coming back down so a lot is going on you will have lots of night sweats it's all normal but there's also moments where you will be cold so the robe sweatshirt things like that will definitely come in handy also the comfy pjs definitely take comfy pjs the gowns that they have you wear aren't the most comfortable i actually had to wear mine for two days in a row <laughs> one after i took a shower i was so excited to put my own pajamas on and she's like no you have to stay in the nursing gown a little bit longer um just because i had had an epidural and baby was in the nicu it was easier for them to identify that i was still admitted in the hospital but when i did finally get to put my own pjs on oh my gosh so comfy so soft and yes definitely take PJs. It just makes you feel a little bit more comfortable in an environment that isn't home. Sound machine. Y'all, take a sound machine. I'm already a white noise person. I would have taken it anyways. But when they say, oh, they come into your room often, they come into your room often. About every two hours that first night, they're checking your vitals all the time. You have doctors coming in, checking in on you, pediatricians coming in and introducing themselves. I mean, my pediatrician apparently had multiple people she had to visit that day and I was first on her list. And at 4.30 in the morning, she comes waltzing in. <laughs> but all that to say, the white noise machine is so nice because you also hear people in the hallway no matter what. And so it's nice because it just kind of helps drown out some of that noise. And when they come in, it's not so stark loud. It kind of eases you in <laughs> to having to talk and answer to questions while getting your vitals taken and different things like that. So the sound machine was, even the nurse was like, good choice. Definitely bring a sound machine. So if the nurse says it, you better go for it. <laughs> slippers. I had those like flip floppy soft slippers and those were great. I had to go from my room to the NICU a lot 
Um, I guess if you're not really walking around and going to a lot of places, well, no, I would still say in the room, it would be great. But I did have to do a lot of back and forth and standing in the NICU and different things like that. And honestly, I just wore those slippers down there. No one judged me and they were so comfy and I'm so glad that I had them. I will say they were an older pair of slippers that I had. And when I got home, I actually ended up throwing them away because, you know, you're in the hospital. I just didn't want to deal with it anymore. So if you have an old pair of slippers and you're cool with taking them, take them. If you want to toss them afterwards, toss them. If you can wash them, wash them. Um, or if you don't really care, it doesn't matter. But I did end up like throwing mine away afterwards. <laughs> Nursing bras. Even if your milk doesn't come in right away, they are so comfortable and worth wearing. Because a lot of them usually don't have underwire or anything like that. And so it just makes it so much more comfortable to wear when your milk is coming in you might be pumping or baby is feeding and so that colostrum is coming out too and they're already kind of sore so just having something that accommodates them being a little bit bigger um, and then being soft too just makes it a much nicer experience a bluetooth speaker i was kind of on the fence about this one too but i was like you know it might be nice to have it when i was in labor for 26 hours i had that bluetooth on almost the whole entire time and it was so nice just having for me we had just soft worship music playing in the background and it was so nice to just have that also just helped my mind to stay calm and i would kind of hum along sing along to some of the songs and so i really enjoyed that because i am a big music person i said that in my what i'm packing for the hospital video but it was really great and i would suggest if you need that background noise if music helps you definitely take it it was a game changer the long charging cord take that because it is true usually plugs are like on the back wall so and then your bed faces this way so if you want it in bed and you need it to be charging it needs to be long so the long charging cord was a great suggestion i saw that in a lot of videos and i also put it in my own and i'm here to tell you afterwards it is definitely worth it you can get some on amazon for like 10 to 15 dollars and so worth it one thing i say that i took and i don't regret taking but i did not use were my flip-flops as like a shower shoe i can't lie by the time i finally got to take a shower and i was in there i realized oh i'm barefoot and it didn't really bother me so i guess if you are more aware of like germs and that sort of a sense um definitely take them and wear them i just I didn't even think about it once it came to taking a shower. I was just so excited to get in there and rinse off that um, I was halfway through the shower before I realized, oh, I'm not even wearing the flip-flops. So it's a 50-50. If that's something that bothers you, take them. If not, you probably don't really need them. But usually also they're kind of small, so they don't take up that much space anyway. So you do you. I didn't use mine. <laughs> Some things I wish I would have taken. Now this is a little bit different because we weren't sure if we were going to be in the hospital for a longer stay, which we were. We were there Monday to Saturday. So one thing I wish I would have taken more of were just like comfy clothes, like a big t-shirt and leggings. Because with me having to go back and forth to the NICU, I did feel a little silly in my like shorts and nursing pajama shirt. Not that anyone judged me and I saw other moms doing it too. Just Personally, for me, I think I would have felt more comfortable if I was just in leggings or yoga pants and a big t-shirt. I just would have felt more comfortable. So I wish I would have had more just like comfy clothes besides just pajamas. Another thing is I wish I would have taken shampoo and conditioner. I have a lot of hair, usually kind of a pain to wash and style and all those things. But with being in the hospital that long after like day two, I called my mom and I was like, hey, when you come to visit later, can you please bring shampoo, conditioner, a blow dryer, and a flat iron so I can just do my hair quick so it can last me the rest of this day because you get sweaty during labor, things get into your hair and so after that third day and you, you know you're still kind of icky and sweaty at night and different things like that I was like I need to wash my hair I feel gross and it was literally magical again if you're only in the hospital for the normal amount of time where it's like two days maybe three and you get like i could have waited till then to come home and take a shower but the fact that i was there for about five days 
it was a little bit different. I didn't know I was gonna need that, but thankfully I had family close by that they could bring it. But I think next time, you know, you can get little travel things. It's worth having that like in your back pocket just in case anything happens and you do wanna wash your hair, then not having it. Again, a family member can bring it for you, absolutely. But if you wanna just pack it, go for it. Might as well have it there with you already. Another thing I wish I would have taken was my pump. So I am exclusively breastfeeding now, but at the beginning they had me pumping because baby wasn't there to breastfeed, baby was in the NICU, but I needed to get that colostrum for him and also help my milk come in. So I was pumping every two hours or so. I wish I would have had my own just because it was a little more comfortable than the one that they had at the hospital. Again, I might have actually been charged for it anyways because it was already in my room and they had already given me the things and she had already opened it and was explaining. Because my baby was in the NICU, they knew I needed to do that. But looking back now, I kind of wish I would have had my own because mine is a little bit more comfortable than the one that they have in the hospital. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. That's just preference. I again was hoping that I wouldn't need to do that, but I did. And just now looking back, I would have been more comfortable with my own because it's a little more comfortable than the one at the hospital. Okay, so you heard baby crying. <laughs> we have a new angle and the quality might be a little bit different because I am now filming with the front camera of my phone. Um, and I'm doing that just so that I can see myself so nothing slips out here because there's a baby nursing here now. But I unfortunately don't have enough time. I have my in-laws coming over for dinner tonight. Um, they're bringing us food, so that's nice. But if I wanna get this video done today, I need to do it this way. So real life, here we go. So two more things that I took and ended up not really using. Neither of them I regret taking, but I'm not sure looking back like if I really would have needed them. One is the little portable fan. I did not need that. My hospital was freezing. I was comfortable. Both my mother and my husband were complaining almost the whole entire time that it was so cold in there. So they know that you're a mama. They know what you're going through. They got that air going for you because all the nurses were in sweatshirts and sweatpants too. So it was hilarious. Well, they're not in sweatpants, they're in scrubs, but they were all in sweatshirts. And you know, they know where you are. They know what you're going through. That air is cold. But if you need an extra fan, it would be great. Again, all these things are just preferences. This is just what I didn't use and what I probably won't even take for the next time. The other thing is my boppy. Now, I will say if I had had baby in the room with me and we started nursing, it would have been a huge help because I love my boppy and I had people, you know, people are 50-50 on it. People love it. Some people hate it. I love my boppy. He is using it right now. Um, and I also am going to be doing a video of things that I love for my newborn and that will be on that video because I love my boppy. But because of the way our stay was, different things like that, I ended up not using it. Would I not take it next time? No, I probably will take it next time. But that was just one of those things that if I would have known it was a longer stay, he wasn't going to be in the room with me, I wasn't going to need to use it, I probably wouldn't have taken it. So things that I bought postpartum that I kind of regret buying. One is the Perry bottle. So I showed you all the Perry bottle that I got, but that's the one that everyone tells you to get. You know, it's easier, it goes up, you squeeze the water, it shoots up. And then the one at the hospital is just kind of, it kind of just looks like a normal water bottle. I preferred the one from the hospital than the one that I bought because this is weird to get into, but you know, you spray it when you're using the bathroom. It's supposed to help alleviate the pain. It was easier for me the way the hospital had me do it because you kind of just sprayed from the top and it just ran down over everything and it worked great. Now when I got home and I had the other Perry bottle and I tried to use that, you're sticking it down in there for it to spray up. And in my head, I, I don't know if I just was doing it wrong or what, but I felt like I was gonna end up peeing on it or getting something on it because you had to stick it down there to shoot the water up and it just didn't make sense to me and I had already gotten used to the hospital one anyway so I do regret buying that Perry bottle because it just doesn't it truly doesn't make sense to me even now trying to justify buying it 
I, I can't, unfortunately. I did not like it. I do regret paying the money for that because the one at the hospital I got for free, you know, it came with this day that I am paying for, um, but it worked just fine. And that's what I ended up using when I got home. Then other thing is tux. They give you tux at the hospital. I don't know if this is at everyone's hospital, but at my hospital, they gave me tux and they gave me a pretty good amount of them. And so I ended up not even opening mine, but I couldn't even return the ones that I bought because I had took them out of the box and I threw the box away. So I would say, if you get some things for postpartum, keep the boxes. And then afterwards, if you are able to return them, if you have enough from the hospital or you like something from the hospital better, learn from my mistakes because I thought, oh, I'm just gonna use all these things. This is what everyone else uses. I took them out of the box, I threw the boxes away, I have not used them and they have sat untouched. And I really wish I could get those 15, $20 back because they could buy something for baby or, you know, postpartum clothes for me. But I didn't, I didn't end up needing them. So those are kind of regrets that I have. Another one are the Freedom Mom liners. I didn't need them. I had the tucks and even then I didn't even use them. Again, this whole video, like I've been saying, is just my preferences. I didn't really tear. I didn't have a really bad birthing experience. So I didn't need, I didn't feel like I needed a lot of help or cooling down in that area. Now I know a lot of people like that. I did have the Dermoplast and that worked really well. And I also had the Earth Mama Perineal Spray loved both of those those were great and the, the dermaplast i actually didn't buy because it kind of scared me but then they had it at the hospital and i used it and i loved it so there's that don't buy it if your hospital has it if your hospital doesn't have it and you have amazon prime go ahead and order it that day when you get home you will have it the disposable diapers that i got were amazing i did bring extra things home from the hospital look when you're at the hospital ask for anything and they will give you more and more and more because it is included with your stay so just get the bigger pads, get the mesh underwear, because those were great too. I probably would have just used those. I ended up only using the disposable diapers because I had them here. And I will say when you're home and you're in your own sheets, like I have white sheets, the disposable underwear cover a lot more than just the mesh underwear because they're literally like, they're mesh. They're, mine were like perforated, like kind of just, <laughs> kind of like fishnets almost. And then you had the big old pad in there. So the disposable had a little more coverage. If there was any leakage here or there, it caught it. So that was nice those first few days. And I really enjoyed the ones I had. If you're sensitive to smell and different things like that, like the ones that people get, like the Depends, the Arm & Hammer ones, they had a really, really strong smell to me. And I can't do that. And especially down there, no thank you. So I ended up getting the organic ones that had no smell and they worked just fine and they were super comfortable too. There are some things that go inside like toiletries. I'm so glad that I had there. Brushing your teeth, having a hair clip, hair tie, hair brush, all those things are really nice too. You get hot, you're throwing your hair up, you might get kind of cold, you put your hair back down. Whatever you need to do, definitely have those things on hand because those were also lifesavers. Also, the big pads that I got, the Always ones, those big purple ones, those are great. You will wear those for a while probably, and they're comfortable, they catch everything. They're massive, yes, but they do the job, and they're also super comfortable, so I'm really glad that I got those. All right, well, I think that covers everything. If I left something out, I am sorry. I've literally been making a list over the last few days. And I had it on my phone and I literally printed it. I have a piece of paper over here that has everything that I've been reading off. So hopefully I remembered everything and I hope that... Hello baby. Well, I hope this video is helpful for you to see what I actually did use. I know that I have been getting a good amount of views on my what I packed video. So hopefully this will be a good follow up to see what I did actually use, what I'm happy that I took, what I regret taking, different things like that, because again, I've experienced now, so I can give my wisdom to you. Well, I think that is it. Thank you so much for watching. So sorry for the camera change and angle change. 
Um, but that's real life of a mom with a baby that is feeding right now and he is way more important than anything else. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, thank you to all the new people that are here and joining our little family and this friendship that we have going on. Um, I'm so grateful to have y'all here. If you made it this far, you would please subscribe and like this video and I will see you all next time. Bye friends.